Mickey from St. Michael. And Columbia, West Columbia 4. West over. Yes. White no. And White all. No. Alright, then we've got four others. Is that correct? That's right. Uh, Preston had Jim, and who's the last one I missed? Out of time? Yes. Were you not Paul? Yes. Oh, okay.
Well, that's fine. I mean, all right. Absolutely not. Okay, that's true. He did not try J.P. Knott's. Point well taken. Nor did I try to find it. Okay. Yes, because All right, please, uh, if, if you want to make comments, please come down to the to the podium. Where is one order? Yes, Mr. Tolar. We have 50 votes, two-thirds is 33. 12 so 33 carries the closure of the Two-thirds. Yeah, it's exactly two-thirds. Uh, let me defer to the parliamentarian. Is 66.666 is to infinity considered two-thirds? Or is it have to be 67? 666 forever. Forever. All right, we're gonna, I'm going to... Rule in favor of the point of order. I hereby close the debate based on the two thirds vote. We are now going to move to the question. All right, the question we are now voting on is the resolution that was read for the second time tonight, which I'm not going to read again. You have, hopefully, some of you have it in front of you. And it was read last meeting. Point of order, Mr. Chairman. All right. I recall that there are some unconstitutional things in that uh, in the resolution. And the unconstitutional part, I believe, is section three. Uh, where it calls for basically the House Senate and the, the House ethics and the Senate ethics to investigate every member of the House and the Senate. That would be guilty until proven innocent, Mr. Chairman. In America, we are innocent until proven guilty. We are taking that away from order. our representatives. Wait, 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 wait. Uh, right, right. I understand, I understand there is point of order. That is part of the debate. That's we can move and pass a resolution that calls for unconstitutional activity, if that's what we choose to do. And if that's your interpretation, then I advise you to vote against it. Mr. Chairman, he's incorrect about what it says. That's fine. We're not going to debate what it says. His interpretation is that it's unconstitutional. We're not arguing about it anymore. That was a point of order that I'm going to ignore. The question before us is, yes, support the resolution and issue it. No, do not issue the resolution. We're going to call the roll. And we need a simple majority. Once we reach 25, we're going to stop voting. So if you're in the back of the alphabet, you don't get to vote. Just predicting. Bar road one. Bar road one. Yeah. Wait, wait. You both can't vote. Somebody's throwing a monkey wrench in the works here. The executive, Dave Wilson is the executive committee. All right. Sorry, you've been Trump. <laughs> no, I wish you guys would let me know this before I start and stand up and vote all the time that he comes. Well, if I had known, I would have pointed it out. I just I mean, didn't know. This is the second time this has happened. Well, it not only embarrasses me. But you don't need to be embarrassed. It's, there's no way for you, you all to know. You're doing your duty while you're called on to do it, and now he's here. So that's fine. You did the right thing. Make and sure. Dave got the vote because he's executive committeeman, and that's just normal course. Make sure, Mr. Chairman, but as I understand, if you vote in four sections, it's yes. Not All right, I think I did that, but I will I will read it again. The resolution includes censure, as you heard. So if you vote yes, you're voting for censure. And if you vote, I mean, all the things that were read in the resolution are being passed. This is being passed as an up or down, take it or leave it. We're not amending it, we're not changing it. As written is how it will be issued. So if you vote yes, I'm going to send this out to the press over my signature as chairman of the executive committee or chairman of the Republican Party, and it will go to the press as required in our rule, and it will be issued and put on our website. So, you know, all the things that are debatable that we didn't debate, but you had a chance to look at here, you're voting in favor of if you vote yes. If there's anything in here you don't like, and you don't really want out there, then you vote no, because you either take it or leave it. Those are your choices. So yes is take it in total, no is get rid of it in total. Those are your two choices. All right. Bar Road is a no. Okay. Since it's been brought to our attention that somebody else has come in, let me ask again now. Are there anybody else that's come in? So that we need to add to the list for votes. Yeah, we didn't change from 50 to 51. It's just Bar Road now has two people here. Bar Road 1 has two people here. And Dave Wilson is the executive committeeman, so he speaks for Bar Road 1. And your vote was no? <clears throat> Bethany. Bowling Springs South. Yes. Casey one. Yes. Casey two. Yes. Casey two A. Yes. Cedar Crest. Yes. Chaladin. No. 
Chapin? Yes. Coldstream? No. Edenwood? No. Edmund?
have everything. Okay, what's the citation? 